Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In our previous session, we have successfully did the it created this edit product form. So we are able to see this edit product form. Now in this video, what we'll try to see is we will try to submit this edit product form so that the cart the product details should be updated. Let's go on to this one. Before doing here, this is our post method. So right now this add product.ejs file acts as both for adding a product and also for the editing the product. Now here the action we need to change. So when we are trying to submit edit the product, we need to make a post request not to the product slash add to the product slash edit. It should be why because there we need to update the products. So here product slash add add means it will add a new product. So here I can write edit means slash products. Slash edit, and here I can write slash products slash add. Sorry. So like this we can add it. Now one thing is completed. Now when we are trying to edit a form or update a form, so we need to have an ID. So let's try to add it here. If edit is there, so here we need to keep is equal to, or otherwise it will not print it. Yeah, here I can write if edit is there again and here I can keep a question mark and I need to have like this and here I can add input type is equal to hidden and we'll be having name is equal to name is equal to product ID and the value is equal to is equal to product dot id so we can keep product dot id that's it so now this is our input okay this is our input type is equal hidden so fine so now we need to define a route for this product slash edit let's go on to the admin dot js and here i can write router sorry router dot post so something comes edit and I need to go to the post edit product page. Okay. So this is the routing. Now here I can take this one. Let's go to the product controller. And here I need to write exports exports dot post edit product page is equal to request comma response. And here I'll be having Let's try to print the request dot body. So what is the post data? Whether we are able to get the post data or not. Now admin dot js. So let's import this product page. So why? Because we have just added. We need to import the post edit product page also. Fine. Let's go on to this one. So refresh this page without any problem. We are getting sample product one, and here this should be thirty four, and here I can write sample description. Now if I click on the edit product page, so this is something happening. So let's go on to the console. And here if you try to see here, we are able to get the product ID, title, image, price and description. All the details we are able to get it. Now let's go to the product controller and here we need to update the file. So what I can do? So let's try to prepare the product data. So constant product is equal to. So here I can take ID request dot body dot ID. Or otherwise, I think product ID. It should be product ID, not ID. And here I can have title request dot body dot title. And another one is a price. So request dot body dot price. And another one is the description. I can have the description request dot body dot description. And the last one is the image. Request dot body dot image. So we have prepared the product details, updated product details. Now we need to update the product. So here I can say update product. So update product. You can, if you want, you can also write by ID. Send the product details, and also if you want, you can also send the product ID details. That's it. That is nothing but request dot product dot ID. We can send it like this. So now we we will we are sending this update product by ID. Let's go on to the model products.json. Sorry, not json. This is a json file. Product.js file. So here I am writing 
exports dot get update product by id and for this one we are getting the updated product if you want you can write updated product or otherwise you can say product and you are getting id that is nothing but product id let's try to make it as simple yeah so we got the product id and, uh, and the product we need to update these details in the json now that's it now first what we need to do so first we need to check here whether this product is existing or not so whether the product with an id is existing or not for that one first we need to get all the products from the file so let's say get products from file so you will get all the products after getting the products what you need to do so let constant existing product index so we will find for existing product index whether it is available or not so how we can check products dot find index find index prod you will get each product and you will try to check prod dot id dot to string so let's convert it into string and here i will be checking with the product id which i am getting from the form so now we will get the existing product index so let's take the product so here i can say that <clears throat> so we got the product and here we got the product product details also if you want you can also make it as updated product so we'll try to make it as updated product so products and all those things we are able to update it here what i will try to do is constant updated products so we'll try to make it as updated products this one is products and here i can take something like products so we are having all the products so i am taking the copy of this one so updated products of existing product index is equal to so i can update it with the updated product so updated product so this one i will i am updating with this one so we will get confused or otherwise we'll try to make it as a product only so we are getting confused so i am updating with the product of the particular index so now fine now what i need to do so after updating these all the products i need to update it in the file so here i can write fs dot write file write file so we need to get the path so where can i get the path here this products path so i can copy this one if you want you can make it as a global variable at the top also so not a problem so this products path and here i need to hey, what happened so this products path so i need to take the products path and here i need to json dot stringify i need to use json dot stringify of updated products so i need to convert it into string and if any error occurs so we can update the error console.log error so we can see that error if any error comes that's it so now we have did this code so we have updated the Thing. so i think some problem is there i think so here what is the problem updated exports dot updated product is equal to product comma okay 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 we need to keep here like this that's it so everything is solved so now we got the details so let's try to update this one in the product controller so here i am updating the product and all the things now after updating this one so you there is no need to bother about that one so you can just re redirect back to the products products i think everything is perfect let's try to do it so for one time so here if i go <coughs> so sample product one and here i am updating it to 34 and this is a sample description here if i click on the edit product update product by id is not defined okay so i think we haven't imported at the at the top so fine it will be automatically imported again let's try to do it instead of resubmitting that one again so i have submit product one and here i will be updating 34 sample description and here i am clicking on the edit product see we got it updated successfully so if i click on the sample product 2 if i make it as a 24 and if i try to add some more details and here if i try to update it to 45 edit product so it has been updated to 45 and also that title and description is also got updated so this is how so now we have successfully completed editing of this product also so we are able to successfully update the uh, add a product and also we are able to do the 
update of the product also in the next video what we'll try to see is we'll try to see how we can delete a product also we'll try to see it hope you understood about this update product if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you